Afternoon Tubesters. This is the video that should have been made uh, instead of the one that's gone before it. So this is an Indian Mutiny project video. Uh, got a whole six figures painted. Uh, fairly good progress for what I've been doing on the table uh, of late. So as I say, I this literally they just sit there and they get a bit of paint on them when I've got time to do it. So, yes, Archie. He's not a bit happy. I've turned his fan off. Uh, yes, we're in an energy crisis, uh, although you wouldn't think of what I've just spent on eBay. But I don't have the fan on for me. I have it on for my pups. Well, uh, one pup left. But I always speak in the plural because I never forget my little bloke Barkley. So anyway, <laughs> quick Gav, quick. Archie needs his fan back on. Uh, yeah, I do them occasionally. Now this project, as I say, will be ongoing for years. I've said it before. Uh, I've always had a, a a liking for the Indian Mutiny as a as a history. As I said, my own regiment um, was there. Uh, two of the separate regiments that made my regiment uh, was were there, uh, and uh, so it's always been a great interest to me. Uh, Empress Mi Empress miniatures figures. Absolutely fantastic, no problem whatsoever. Used to be owned by Iron Duke Miniatures, uh, but sold to Empress. I believe I've got that right. So, uh, Iron Duke did a great, uh, great work on them, and uh, Empress have obviously got them now. One thing I would ask for, uh, which they don't have, is casualties. Uh, two things actually. <laughs> I'd like to see, should Empress ever find this video, I would like to see some casualties there are none. Uh, the, the, there is. They've got. They've got a lovely little casualty set in the sense of they've got them in the. Oh, are they Dax? I can't remember now. The, the little carrying things that they used to put on the sides of camels and that. They've got some of those, but they haven't got the. You know the. These guys are in. A lot of them are in running poses, charging poses. They haven't got somebody taking a hit. Uh, they haven't got somebody face down. That type of thing. I would have liked to have seen some of that. That would have been a great help. Because when I'm doing that type of thing, I do like to chuck a couple of those in, uh, uh, just to give it more flavour. And I would have liked to have seen some more ragged looking uh, lads as well. Uh, as I say, they, their uniforms fell to pieces and they were using the summer, a lot of them, not all, but a lot of them were using the summer uniforms. And uh, obviously they were just getting ripped to shreds on the terrain and stuff. So, uh, if, if any chance you can make a couple of packets of ragged, so, you know, that generic headgear that they could be mixed around with different ones, it doesn't have to be specific to the particular codes. Uh, we're really grateful. So anyway, <laughs> let's get on with it. Uh, again, mixtures, paint, I've thrown a few patches on there. Um, all I've got left to do of the figures I own at the moment are the officers. I've the NCO, which I've made a colour sergeant. I uh, uh, and I have to rework his tapes actually, his stripes are not too well done. I've, I've put the red in but I've still, I've done this video before I've actually cleaned his tapes up. Uh, and I've just got the officers to do now. So I've got two ensigns with colours. Again, a lot of the units, regiments, uh, and, and because a lot of these were fighting what we call wings, so uh, in those days the regiment could fight as, or battalion could fight as one homogenous unit or it could be split up into, obviously into companies as well, but split up into wings. Uh, and quite often the wings would be set, would be serving away from each other, um, uh, maybe coming together occasionally to fight, or they might actually be separated for the entire campaign. Um, and in that case, obviously, the, the colours would normally go with the HQ company. Uh, so I've de decided to depict colours with these because it is my regiment, uh, and I want to see the colours flying on them. Uh, flags, by the way, if you in the British Army, we call them colours. Uh, so that's about it. Yeah, um, let's go down and take a look. Right, guys, uh, thanks for joining me at the bench. I really do hope uh, you're not picking any ambient sound up outside, but I think we are we hitting around here 26 Celsius, 28 Celsius, something like that. So anybody that isn't working is in their gardens, and there's bits of radios going on, and there's obviously dogs barking. Uh, all that type of stuff. So these are the six. There are photographs at the end. How good they're going to be, I've no idea. 
but we'll uh, we'll take a look. Right, let's get it to uh, focus. Again, I've tried patches in varying colours just to show that they've you know they found a bit of material, and uh, they've you know obviously patched up what they've got. So we've got a loading guy there. Again, I've tried to to mix up slightly the uh, the colours on the uniforms just to again give us that real campaign look. Again, I've got the faces to glow a bit. The faces are very small. Uh, again, that's not when I say small. I don't mean that that the, that uh, Mr. Hicks has sculpted small heads compared to the bodies. I just mean. Uh, you know, there's not a lot of facial features there for you to really dig at with a paintbrush. Um, so I've tried to give them a glowing look as well, just to you know make them jump out slightly. Same with the arms. Uh, some of the the bread bags I've dirtied up. Some I haven't. Again, it's it's all hit and miss. The same with the cartridge boxes. Some are worn. Some have got staining on them. Some are fairly. You know, as if you know, I wouldn't say come off the parade ground, but uh, uh, the the drum are really digging around for the chords on the bugle and the drum. Uh, I've in the end I've coming up with the uh, I'd seen some of the sixty fourth uh, earlier drums. Uh, I don't believe they're or even if there were regulations, it seems to me that every unit had its drums painted a different way so I've gone for wood at the back painted front you can hardly see there's some little red lines to delineate uh, battle honours a lot of our drums would have battle honours in scroll work on the side some might have been in gold leaf if you were maybe a, a guards regiment or something like that I've seen them in white I think the Cornwall, Cornwall regiment uh, had them in white on black I believe uh, so I've gone for the black which is the regimental colour uh, I've just literally splodged a bit of light paint because it's 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 facing down you're not going to see it but um, I normally have the colours on the front uh, crossed over uh, then with um, the uh, unicorn and the lion either side of it which is like the is it the royal seal something I can't remember what that, that is but it's the, it's the government seal or the royal seal something like that uh, the cords I've just gone for red and black in the end because I couldn't see if there was a yellow in there uh, the two main colours that made up my regiment when I was in, uh, we, we, my part of the regiment lasted from 1959 uh, to uh, 2014, uh, and black and yellow were the colour because they, we were per, we were made up before that, and our regiment the, were the black uh, from going back to the 64th days and the yellow going back to the 38th. Um, obviously, the South and North Staffords after that, but. Uh, I couldn't see why they'd have yellow on them in that day. This is the 64th of foot, so uh, I've just gone for red and black. So if anybody knows different, obviously let me know. It's pretty shameful when it's my own regiment, but I, I couldn't. I looked everywhere and I couldn't see what what chords, uh, if the chords are any different. Um, but yeah, really nice figure that one. Uh, what I wouldn't mind seeing, <laughs> Empress, if you're listening, uh, any chance you could have them carrying the drum? But using the bugle, because they use the bugle more than often they'd use a drum by then, and um, it would be nice to have one of each. Because, because I again, I'm quite happy to have another drummer in the in my unit. The only problem is it's the only drummer that they do, and uh, I um, I don't didn't want to set two poses of the same same one in the same unit. That's what I mean. Uh, this is I'm saying he's a colour sergeant who is the senior sergeant in an infantry company at the time uh, they, they didn't have I think I said before they didn't have company sergeant majors at the time the colour sergeant was a senior sergeant uh, there were different versions I've gone for red tapes on here the last one I did that corporal I put white tapes on a red background but it seems to me I mean the Osprey book shows them red uh, so I'm going to take a punt and I, I've seen a bit of artwork that also seemed to depict them that was black and white it was a, it was a black and white photograph of a uh, I think that was in the Osprey book as well of the of a obviously a painting, and it appeared to be red for that. Um, 
there was very different. I've seen different variants of the of the color sergeant's uh, arms. The guards seem to have it slightly different. Uh, but what I've seen is a, a, a flag above. Uh, I'd say a color, but I don't know if it's the king's color or what. But, it, but it was, there was a flag above the three stripes, and there's some cross swords to denote. Obviously, they were the color guard. Um, but on his shirt here, it's really hard to depict. But I obviously it's rolled up. Uh, I need to depict the stripes more there. I stuffed up the the color to be honest with you. So I'm I've painted them red, ready to have another go. I didn't want them too brightly red as well. I want him fairly dull. Um, and again, I've got him fairly patched there. In fact, he's got more patches on most of these blokes. <laughs> so uh, never mind. Uh, got to be a bit enthusiastic there. As I say, they're fairly simple figures uh, because they were obviously that's what they were in real life. You know what they were carrying. Um, I've done one of the patches on the bread bag, bread bag there. And the last guy. You can hear my computer's going over time. Uh, trying to upload the giant ramble video that I've just done. Here we go, he's got a fairly younger looking face. They weren't all old blokes with bristly, uh, bristly beards. There we go. So guys, that's the uh, six that I've got completed. Let me just quickly look under my dust cover. My spray booth in other words. Uh, one, two, three, yeah I've got four left. All officers. Uh, th there's not, a, apart from obviously swords and pistols, and there's not a huge, uh, you know, stuff that denotes them any differently. Because uh, they're in shirt sleeves as well. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with a mounted officer. Uh, I'll, to make this up to a 24 unit, as I say, with the two ensigns I've got, which were extras, because this was one of those deal bundles, which gives you, I think, around 20, 20 figures, 18, 20 figures, I can't remember which. I need some, I need a couple more. Um, so it'll either be a pack of, you know, anything like this with, you know, just two extra guys in. Uh, if I buy the command, that's a colour sergeant, a drummer, I believe, and the officers. I'm not 100% sure, I think there's two, yeah it might be. Uh, the ensigns, as I say, that you get a pack of ensigns as a separate pack. Um, I would have liked the mounted officer, but if I've got, a, it's been a while since I say I've got a smashed head and, and my memory goes in and out, but um, I, I think I'm, 28 quid for the officers, mounted officers, that's not me slating Empress for the, for the price or anything like that, but what I'm saying is, I'm on a budget. If I pay the 28 quid for the officers, I can't buy anything else for a while. If you're that, you know, woe is me, I know, get the little violin out. But I can't get anything else for a while. So, what I may do, because I was going to, I was wondering whether to, to, to put the officers separate. Uh, at the back of the unit anyway I, I'm not I, I don't know what I'm going to do yet uh, before I stick these down and go for broke I will decide but if I buy the officers I'm not going to be able to do anything else for for a while because I'd also have to buy a packet to, to for a couple of extra bods um, so I'm undecided I might just go for the for the couple of blokes and leave the officer off for the moment because uh, I could always enlarge the unit and do another stand with any extra odds and sods I've got and put the officer on afterwards. In fact, they actually say that. I'm not sure if it was said on Mike Snook's uh, or, or on the... I think it might have been on Smart Mike Snook, Snook who's, who's, who's Iron Duke Miniatures, uh, when he, he still got all his stuff up for when he originally did it. Uh, and he said, you know, you could always... The officers are like that, so you can add them at a later date. And I might have to do that. Um, because I'd like to build some units up. There's officers on foot. Uh, it's just that normally there'd be a mounted officer, not so much seen at the front. Uh, normally regulations would have the officer um, at the back, I believe. I can't remember now off the top of my head if the majors, I believe the majors might, the two majors might have been, or at least one major, 
mounted or lieutenant colonel mounted and the adjutant was normally mounted as well all the officers were mounted when they were actually uh, on the road without going into battle they they all had their own from little ponies to to chargers or whatever whatever however rich the officer was to to feed and buy his own charger or horse uh, that's what they did to you know they weren't going to go walking with the men uh, not if they could help it but they did fight on foot when it came to fighting uh, so yeah it might be once I've done those based them uh, shown you the based unit hopefully at some point then if I've sold enough on you know eBay I've got you know I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go through my collections of bits and pieces and sell bits and pieces off just to fund other stuff so if I've got any more you know any more money uh, I will probably get another unit whether another deal you know one of their deal units something like that I don't know yet because um, I've got two extra ensigns now anyway from that pack of you get four in a pack I believe it's four or is it six I can't remember but whatever I've got some extra ensigns if I want to have another unit flying colours or 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 what um, so yeah I, I just think to, to pay the 20 eight pound is it or whatever for the mounted officers it's something I could do at a later date and then add the officers to whatever units I happen to have had at the time if that makes sense it's a shame you know you, you know for the UR effect right now um, but as I say uh, 34 pound for a unit deal of 20 odd figures and 28 pound I believe for the, the mounted officers it, it's it's I might as well you know pay that extra few quid and get a get another unit when i'm ready to right there you go uh, as i say there'll be some photographs at the end uh, i haven't got any further forward with the buildings yet i had a disastrous attempt uh, it hasn't put me off in fact i've got all my blue phones stashed at the side of me uh, ready for another go uh, but this time i'm going to do it properly rather than off the cuff and i will actually make some up in card first as a template put it on top of the because uh, i've got all my measurements right it was just it just looked naff um, so I'll uh, I'll reuse all that cut up stuff on, on another building or something uh, and we'll have another go um, on that as well so thank you very much for stopping by and taking a look uh, I know there's a couple of you out there interested in the Indian Mutiny uh, yourselves so that, that's good because as I say it's, uh, it's always nice to know you're doing something that people find genuinely interesting not just you know passing through um, as I say it's not a subject that's going to light everybody up uh, but uh, it's something I've I've always you know got the odd book on and and just enjoyed uh, knowing about. So thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for for indulging me and sticking with the project. Uh, as I say, it's got a long way to run. Uh, there'll be mut mutineer units, uh, so the enemy more or less uh, being done. At, it's not going to be a project where say the Brits are done on one side and then the mutiny the mutiny and the mutineers and the civilians and that were against us on the other it will be a mix and match uh, I just enjoyed this period and it'll just be painting units as I go thanks a lot guys take care of yourselves